If you bought the Buddy Pole Deluxe Kit, you already have all the parts you need. If not, I'll go to the list with you. First, you need the tripod stand, shown on the right. I use the regular mast, it's the 8 foot, the Versity, the 25 foot piece of coax. You'll need two of the telescopic whips, I use the original length, and a rotating arm kit. Those are things you have to have for this, and those come in the Buddy Pole Deluxe Kit. Um, two optional things that will make this easier are a tape measure, and I like to use the MFJ259B antenna analyzer. Now I'll show you how you put it together. We're going to start by setting up the tripod and mast first. First, we're going to clear the air that way. Okay, now we've got the mast attached to the tripod. Uh, we'll straighten the tripod legs out. And we'll leave the tripod uh, collapsed right now because we're inside for one. And it's easier to work on. Normally this antenna work, will work better outside, uh, but it's dark outside, so I'm videoing this inside. Next, you'll attach the Versity. I found it easiest to raise the top end of the mast up just a little bit so it doesn't spin when you try to screw the Versity on. Now that you've got the Versity attached, we're going to attach the rotating arm kit. The rotating arm kit, as you can see, has studs on one side that go into the versity that keep it from uh, pivoting once you attach the telescopic whips. Next, we're going to attach the telescopic whoops to the rotating arm kit. And now we're going to attach the coax to the versity. Put the red to the red plug, the black pin connector to the black plug. Now, from previous experience, I know the approximate height that these whips need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and extend them, and then we're going to check it with the antenna analyzer, antenna analyzer, and fine tune it. Once that's done, I'll measure the whip length for you, the tape measure, and get that to you. So hopefully, you can make a quick setup. Now you need to attach your antenna analyzer to your coax and set that up for two meter. And check your SWR. As you can see, just on that first try, I'll try to get where you can see it, at 147 megahertz, I've got an SWR ratio of 1.1, which is pretty good for a first shot. Uh, now I'm going to check it to the rest of the band for two meters, see how it improves. If I go down to 144.0, I get 1.2, and then going up to 148. Got 1.2. So this is that's the best I've ever had it actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure the lips for you just like this.
I'm going to measure off the top of the rotating arm kit to the tip of the red rubber piece. It appears to be about 43 and 3 quarter inches for the red whip, or red side, 43 and 3 quarter inches. And for this side, it's about 14 and a half, 14 and 5 eighths right in there. So it's pretty flexible. Um, now you're ready to disconnect this from your antenna analyzer, connect it to your transceiver, and get on the air. Good luck, and have fun.